Hey everybody, welcome back in. Today's video is going to be how to set up your wire feeder for the 3 in 1 cleaner and welder. We'll go over how to get your cable fed, uh, how to attach your cable itself, because that does come in a separate bundle. What each cable is. Back here, we'll start here. So you've got your power interface cable, it's just four prong, tight nut ring. That's just your standard outlet plug in on the end of it. Then this cable comes off the back of your machine. It's your signal interface. It's the one that actually says feed it, uh, stop it, extract the cable, and how fast that's going to be going. Uh, so that's that cable. It comes off the back side of the machine. Uh, if you've got your grounding cable back there too, so open this up. It comes with a set of oops, sorry. It comes with a set of keys. So you just unlock it, open your door. This is what you're going to see. You've got a nut right here. That spins off. And yeah, just gonna put that anywhere. And this is where you've got your spool right here. It just slides on and off, no biggie. And just put that on. And undo it. More than likely, the end of your wire is gonna be sticking through a hole here, so you'll just want to cut that. Uh, break it out. Make sure you're spooling. You're running your cable underneath. And it's going to come into here. All right. Then so you have these little bushing guides right here. You've got two of them. You're going to want to make sure that your machine has these correct ones installed. Mine came with 0.8 and 1.0 millimeter guide rollers on it. However, the wire I received was 1.2. Um, then there are. Uh, they send you two other rollers that are a 1.2 and a 1.6 millimeter groove so just swap those out super easy got a thumb screw here pulls out and then you've got this washer here and then your guide roller just pull it off swap your guide roller put your washer on tighten this And you've got two tension settings here, one for the coming in that's on this side. You've got another one over here with the tension on that. If you guys are familiar with using any sort of MIG machine or a flex core machine, I, uh, it's a very similar concept. You don't want a ton of tension on this because then it'll cause resistance and it won't let your cable flow properly. But you also don't want it too loose because then there won't be enough traction here and it'll, they'll just spin and you won't actually get anything fed out the end of the gun. So moderate amount, you can play with it as it goes. So this screw right here is going to be how your machine uh, oops, tightens down onto this. So this comes, see if it'll move, yeah. So you guys can see that amount that's moving there. I'm not going to pull it all the way out, but that is what moves. Uh, and how you put your gun in. So you just stick that through, put it up flush, you grab your screwdriver, tighten that back down. That's a nice set screw, holds it in place. It's not going anywhere now. So then you're going to want to take your cable, you're going to extend it out all the way, typically for your first time. Make as, The straighter you make it, the, the easier your life's going to be. So now we've got our cable is brought here so you can see oh, it's gonna focus so you can see mine is sticking out just a little bit from using it so if you go to the machine all right so assuming you've changed over to your welder settings you know you've got the machines on the welder settings you're going to go to feeding parameters and then you see these two buttons down here continue feed and continue extract well, continue feed is just going to have that going. It's pushing cable, pushing cable, pushing it. And you guys can see everything in here moving. So, we're just going to keep going until you tell it to stop. So, we just hit that button again. And then for anybody that's worried about, you know, why did I just waste that wire? These feeders actually have a really cool function. If you hit continue extract, it'll actually extract it back inside. And that's going at the same rate that it was pushing it out. So if you accidentally feed too much, you don't have to worry. It's just that simple. Push a little bit more out, so 
it doesn't go back in. And guys, that's almost everything you need to know. So this spot here is gonna go on your gun. Yeah, let me put this in the sand real quick so it'll be easier to show y'all. So you grab your gun. And you're gonna to wanna to take this screw out. I believe it's four, yep. It's a four millimeter screw. You take your wire screw. Stick that in. Stick that in. There you go. And then you're gonna make sure that your wire on this end, there's a little groove on your tip. You wanna make sure that your wire sits inside it there. And then you're just gonna wanna put a little bit of stank on this down here. Make sure it's in your groove if you tighten it. You're gonna tighten down. And make sure that's in your groove and now you're good to go. Then we'll go over settings and how to actually use it uh, in another video, but now you guys know how to set your wire feeder up. Have a good one.